I'm going to ask everybody to stand, please. Okay. Okay, bueno, bueno. Now you're going to need to face the inside of your, your, your table. So you Ash. have, some of you have your backs toward me. Ash, would yeah. you give me one second just to grab a sip of water? <laughs> May I get just a sip of water real quick? <laughs> okay. Qué pena un segundito a tomar un... Ah, What I'm gonna... ah muchas gracias. <laughs> Qué pena. So you want to say, okay. What I'm going to ask you to do is... I'm going to ask you to reach out Lo que les put, voy a pedir hacer es de que por favor You're going to put one finger in the palm of your neighbor a, and stretch your palm out Lo que les voy a pedir of your es de que on the other side. es que extiendan un brazo y pongan un dedo sobre la palma de su vecino <laughs> Yeah Yo creo que no va a tratar de hacer eso porque no okay. terminaría en buena manera So you have one finger on one side and palm on the other. Oh, okay. Now, it goes like this. I, when, I, when I say cuando three, yo diga, when I say three, you guys, cuando yo, cuando yo diga tres, you will try to get your finger out of the palm on your side and grab the finger on the other side, okay? Cuando Let's yo diga tres, va, lo que van a hacer es when I, when I say three, if my hand is like this, I'm going to try and raise my finger, but I'm going to try and ca catch, her, catch hers. Okay? Okay, and cuando yo diga... Sí. Okay, por favor, cuando, cuente, cuando diga tres, Ash, ustedes van a intentar retirar su dedo para que no se los atrapen, okay? Lo levantan. Okay, vamos a practicar primero, por favor. Okay. A la cuenta de tres, cuando él diga tres, Keep a close eye on me. Su dedo, okay? One. Listos. Uno. Two. Dos. Dos. Movimiento. Ay. Three. Ay, no. Okay. Esta fue una práctica nada más. Ahora sí. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. Woohoo. Una vez más, por favor. Ahora sí es es el bueno a la cuenta de tres cuando diga tres. Wakey, wakey. Tres. Okay. Okay. Okay, you guys. Once more. Listen up. Vamos. One. Two. Three. Okay. Muy bien. All right. So your morning workout is just begun, okay? I'm going to ask you to do something else. Le vamos a preguntar algo más. Now, my name is Ash, so I'm going to, with my right hand, and you're going to do the same with your names, I'm going to write my name, okay? Con su mano derecha van a poner su nombre, van a escribir su nombre, ¿ok? Ok. So, with your right hand first. Write your name, please. Escriban su nombre, ¿sí? ¿Ok? With your left hand. Con la izquierda Now. lo escriben también. Ok. <laughs> ok. Now I want you to do it with your right shoulder. Su hombro, mover el hombro, por favor. <laughs> Write your name, everybody. Everybody, come okay, on. Todo el mundo moviendo el I know everybody just rolled out of bed and got here, so come on. <laughs> okay, left, left. El izquierdo, por favor. Him, with your left. Hacia okay. El okay. Now, your right foot. El pie derecho, todos, todos moviéndolo en círculo. Okay. El izquierdo. Left foot, everybody, guys. Todo left foot. El, mundo, el izquierdo. Okay. 
Now try to give it your chest. Ahora hagan con su con el pecho hacia adelante, okay? Uh, y mueva los hombros. Okay. And guess what? <laughs> y ahora imagínense también. Come on guys, everybody. Por favor, todos todos con su cadera, por favor. Yeah. Todos. <laughs> ahora todos All juntos. Right. Woo -hoo! Woo! Eva, woo! 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 Hey. Okay, okay. Okay. Please have a seat. Se pueden sentar, por favor. Gracias. Okay. So we had a chance to think about, you know, how we're going to write our names like this. I want you to now start thinking about. And I, I want you to keep this in to yourself. Do it on your phone, do it on a piece of paper, whatever you want. Sí, vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Ustedes van a, a conservarlo primero para ustedes mismos y después lo vamos a hacer. We've spent the last couple of days together here and we have this very precious time together today, this morning. Like I said, the start of a new chapter in our lives. Together, I want you to think about one word, and I want you to think about it for 30 seconds, and then I want you to write it down, wherever you want to write it down, but write it down. What is the one word, planet Earth, Mother Earth, means to you? Reflect. 30 seconds. Okay. And then write it down. Vamos a reflexionar 30 segundos después de estos dos días que hemos compartido juntos y de esta maravillosa True. mañana con la noticia de un nuevo comienzo para el movimiento pop aquí en Durango. Van a pensar ustedes qué significa la madre tierra, el planeta tierra. 30 segundos para que lo escriban, por favor, a partir de ahora. Ok. Yo se los voy a contar. Ya llevan siete, treinta segundos, no hay que pensar mucho qué significa para ustedes el planeta Tierra, la Madre Tierra. Quince segundos. Wherever you want, write it down. Veinte segundos, nos quedan siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, Dos, uno, detenemos, por favor, qué significa y nos entregan sus papelitos, ¿ok? Write it down. This is, this is deep. It's what it means to you. I want you to reflect. Hay que reflexionar. And I want significa. you to write it down. Write it down wherever you want. Escríbanlo, por favor. And it belongs to you. Qué significa para ustedes. On a phone, wherever you want. Hello everyone. I truly wish I could be there in person, but I look forward to future opportunities to meet and discover solutions for the issues that we all deeply care about. Climate change is the issue that we all must be profoundly alarmed by. For the past three years, I've been on a remarkable journey making the documentary film Before the Flood to show how this crisis is changing the natural balance of our planet and threatening our future on it. I've been to cities like Beijing that have been choked by industrial pollution. I've seen ancient boreal forests in Canada that have been clear cut and rainforests in Indonesia that have been incinerated for natural resource development. In India, I met farmers whose crops have literally been washed away by historic flooding. In America, I've witnessed unprecedented droughts in California and sea level rise flooding the streets of Miami. In Greenland and in the Arctic, I was astonished to see that ancient glaciers are rapidly disappearing well ahead of scientific predictions. I also heard from the best scientists at NASA and some of the top researchers at our great universities, and there is absolutely no doubt amongst these experts, indeed no doubt 
among more than 99% of the world's top scientists who study this issue, that climate change and the environmental crisis we have witnessed are a direct result of human activity. These top scientists also warn us that the impacts will become exponentially worse in the not so distant future. 15 of the 16 hottest years ever recorded on Earth have occurred since the year 2000. These facts and the predictions for the future they reveal mean the world of the future may not look much like the one we enjoy today. In addition to rising sea levels, there will be millions more climate refugees fleeing starvation, there will be flooding, there will be droughts, and conflicts over shrinking resources. Natural forest wildfires that once burned a few months a year during the summer will soon rage all year long. And storms like Hurricane Sandy or Katrina, which should happen only once in a hundred years, will now happen more often and cause even more damage. But there is also reason for hope. Renewable energy, clean fuels, and putting a price on carbon are beginning to turn the tide. But we must scale up these solutions and get them in the hands of everyone everywhere right now. Because this transition is not only the right thing for our environment, it makes clear economic sense. Ladies and gentlemen, 99% of all plant and animal life ever to exist on planet Earth has appeared and disappeared before the arrival of industrial humans. The Earth doesn't care if we are here. We're not trying to save the Earth. We're trying to save our quality of life. Indeed, for many, our very survival on this planet. We have waited too long to take action to address climate change. But if we band together, we can build the future we want. Winston Churchill said, history will be kind to me for I intend to write it. Starting right here and now, let's write the next chapter together. I'm gonna to leave the rest up to the head of my foundation, the brilliant Mr. Tamanen, who single-handedly created some of the most important environmental policies in the state of California. Considering it's one of the largest economies in the world, Terry is an expert in integrating green technology with economic progress. I want to thank you all so very much for your time and for your commitments to protect our fragile planet. Thank you so much. Muy buenos días. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. We are really happy here in Durango. Let me tell you why. Estamos ante la presencia de personalidades muy importantes y estuvimos con gente muy importante alrededor de todo el mundo. Hay personalidades que no pudieron estar en físico, pero que son parte de este movimiento tan importante. Quiero agradecerles a todos. I want to thank aquí. everyone for being here. Thank you, everybody, for being here. So, let me tell you something. Eh, estamos aquí en presencia de muchos jóvenes. ¿Alguno le ha pasado alguna vez que entra a la escuela a las 8 de la mañana y se despierta a las 7.45? Has anybody been here that it's a... Oh, I don't know. Would you like me to translate or I wasn't sure. ¿Quieres que te traduzca o no? Qué pena. Please. Ah, ya, ok. Has anybody, it, has it happened, has it, has it happened that anybody, it's been 8 a.m. and you wake up at 745? Raise your hand, whenever that's happened to someone. Raise your hand, whenever that's happened to someone. Raise your hand, whenever that's happened to someone. Let me tell ahorita. you what's happening right now. We just woke up at 745. We just woke up at 745. And we got there just at 8 a.m. And we got there just at 8 a.m. A lo mejor no vamos a alcanzar a bañarnos. Maybe we don't have time to shower. A lo mejor no vamos a alcanzar a almorzar. Maybe we don't have time to eat lunch. Pero tenemos que apurarnos para poder but, llegar a la escuela. But we have to rush so we can make it there. Nos acabamos de levantar a las 7.45 We de just la woke mañana. up at 7.45 in the morning. Estamos viendo la crisis climática we are, mundial. We are seeing the crisis, the world crisis. Y tenemos un muy pequeño periodo de tiempo. And we just have that short amount of time. Para poder hacer lo que tengamos que hacer. To be able to see what we can do. Y estar a tiempo para salvar nuestro mundo. And to be able just in time to save the world. Es por eso importante que esté nuestro querido amigo Ash. And that's why it's so important to have our friend Ash. Nuestra querida doctora Norma. Our beloved uh, friend, doctora Norma. 
a todos nuestros amigos de la familia Pop que están el día de hoy aquí. And to have our lovely friends uh, here from Pop that are here today with us. Que nos están haciendo la invitación. That are, dear, that are giving us the invitation. Para que todos podamos formar parte. So we can all make part of. De la familia Pop. To make part of our, the family, the Pop family. Que como dice Ash. And as Ash says. Todos somos una familia. We are just one family. En el universo. In the universe. Quiero pedirles un gran favor. I would like to ask you for a big favor. Quiero que sean ustedes embajadores. I would like to be, I would like to ask each of you to be ambassadors. Y quiero que sean los portavoces. And to be the, uh, the, the voice carriers. Que puedan invitar a sus amigos. That you can invite your friends. A sus vecinos. Your neighbors. A sus familias. Your families. A que levantemos la mano. That we can raise our hands. Y hagamos un llamado a la acción. And to do a call of action. Si no nos if, ponemos if not, las pilas. If we don't wake up. Si no nos ponemos en la acción ahora. If we don't get into action right now. Desgraciadamente no vamos a tener. we're not going to be able to. Un futuro para nuestras a nuevas generaciones. future for our new generations. Para sus hijos. For their, their, for our children. Y para los hijos de sus hijos. And for the children, and for the future of their children. Los gobiernos the y la gente que ha estado a cargo and the people that have been in charge nos ha quedado mal a esta generación que está aquí. Has been unfortunately not uh, served as well for the generation that is here today. Y a pesar de que tienen ellos una responsabilidad muy and unfortunately that they have a very important responsibility. El gobierno por sí solo jamás va a poder. The government is not going to be to be able to do that alone. Si no estamos comprometidos if it's todos, not, if we're not responsible, if, it, if they're not responsible, en todos los niveles, in all the levels, para cuidar nuestro medio ambiente, to be able to take care of our environment. Yo de nuevo quiero agradecer, I, again I want to thank, que se hayan dado la oportunidad, that this opportunity has been given, de poder estar aquí to be able to be here today with all of you. Gracias a todos, thank you to all of you, y recuerden, and remember, que tienen un amigo en la Secretaría de Recursos Naturales y Medio Ambiente del de Durango. In the of Durango. Que Dios los bendiga y vamos May a God luchar por you. nuestro planeta. And let's fight for our planet. Movimiento. Movement. Pop. Movimiento. Pop. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I do wish I could be there with all of you, uh, not only to uh, learn so much, but to show of all of you in celebrating Dr. Bichardo's life. I had a very good fortune not only to work with him, but to be his good friend. And he was my mentor and inspired me in so many ways to become involved in this sort of climate change. And uh, I, I think it's particularly interesting that uh, when he was into it, well, when he was 70, he found it the pop and it's an illustration of how we all need to be in this fight. But keeping in mind that great change often comes from youth, but we need to all be in this struggle together, uh, no matter how old we are, no matter how rich or poor we are, where we come from. Um, uh, but I have learned some lessons over the past few years since working at a major research university, the University of Southern California, about the power of youth. Let me tell you two stories. First of all, when I arrived at UC, USC about three years ago, um, it wasn't too long before it suggested that perhaps every student in the university should have to take a basic course in environmental studies. And I wasn't the only one saying this. And, and folks said, you know, it's a good idea, but um, it's, it's a little, it's always too hard to do right now. Three years later, because of the students, every single student in USC, no matter what school they attend, it could be music, it could be dance, it could be law, will soon be taking a course, a basic course in environment studies. And that's because it is now generally recognized that understanding the environment is a basic skill you have to know to navigate the world no matter what you do. Then I met a, 
student, undergraduate, very ambitious. And she was taking political science courses, environmental study courses, and something in graphic design. And I said, what do you want to do with your life? And she said, I want to be a consultant who advises companies, large companies, on how to use their political power, which is enormous, to bring about environment, better environmental policies. I had never heard of such a profession. It didn't exist. And it's one of many examples about how the creativity and energy of youth can bring about new ways of dealing with this global catastrophe that we now face. So I am inspired every day by the youth on our campus, and I have the privilege of working with them, just as Dr. Pachari did, to bring about change because it is going to take that operation across generations to actually have an impact. Again, I want to thank you so much for having me here in the virtual aid. Uh, if it weren't for the coronavirus and all the activities we're having to do around that, I probably wouldn't be there in person. Um, but for that, I turn it back to the panel. Thank you again so much for having me. Okay, so I am going to present myself. My name is Camila Gonzalez. I am 16 years old and I work for Fridays for Future Mexico. Mi nombre es Camila Gonzalez, tengo 16 años, resido en la Ciudad de México y soy miembro de Fridays for Future Mexico. I will be 26 years old when we reach 2030. I will be 26 years old when, according to the IPCC report, we will have surpassed the target of limiting global temperatures to 1.5 degrees Celsius. Staying below 1.5 degrees Celsius requires slashing global greenhouse gases emissions to 45% below 2010 levels by 2030 and reaching net zero by 2050. 10 years to act. Might seem like a lot. It really isn't. Think about how old will you be in 10 years? I will be fresh out of college. I will be 26 years old. Remember what you did when you were 26. I am scared and I feel helpless. I like to think of the climate crisis as a great wave looming over our heads. It's a tsunami threatening civilization as we know it. It's threatening to tear apart our lives as we know them. And it is us all of us, without exception, that will have to struggle to find air to survive. However, it is the youth that will have to deal with the after effects of this crisis. It is us, the youth and the future generations, who will to have to rebuild civilization. There is always a will to act. But the the youth has a different fire. You see, we act before we think too much. We do think. But we haven't lived in this earth too long as to really understand the dangers that have been presented to us. But we have lived long enough in this planet to understand that in a, in a crisis, you have to act. We have been deprived of the privileges you once considered the norm. Clean air, clean water. That is a basic need every human should have. And we, the youth and future generations, are the ones who have to pay the price. I always say, be hopeful, for that is what keeps us afloat. That 
is what makes us believe that there is light at the end of the tunnel. But be fearful, because that is what will help us solve this imminent crisis. I will just leave you with a really short question for you to reflect on. What are you going to do to solve this crisis? What are you going to do when you get home today to help us have a future and your children and grandchildren? Tomorrow is another day and there is still light at the end of the tunnel. It's a path we must take and we must take it quickly because time, time is running out and the youth is afraid. You should be afraid. Thank you. Oh, so good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Chloe. I'm 18, and I come from Paris. Um, I'm so buenos, buenos días a todos. Mi nombre es Chloe. Y soy una estudiante de 18 años de París, Francia. I'm so excited to be here today. Estoy muy emocionada de estar aquí hoy entre todos. Along all, all the Young people de toda la gente and, joven and future change makers of the world. Y, futuros, y futuros creadores del mundo. I've always been concerned about Siempre me han preocupado los, los problemas del medio ambiente. In elementary school, we worked on a la temprana edad on group project, en grupos on, de proyectos and all wedges, waste and plastic ends up in the environment. Y siempre hablábamos de problemas de plásticos y cómo afectaban el medio ambiente. Y muchas veces veía como refrigeradores. Y como una persona joven, siempre me preguntaba cómo toda la gente puede ser inconsiderada about the environment and the planet. Acerca de eh, cómo podía, cómo la gente puede ser tan inconsiderada con el planeta. Una vez que salió el bachillerato, care. me di cuenta que no era necesariamente porque la gente no le, no le importara. It was because it wasn't knowledgeable era porque no tenían conocimiento subject. acerca de ese, de ese tema. It broke a flame Ahí fue. Me. Ahí fue cuando me salió como una, un, me, sal, me salió un, como un, 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 un ardor, me, me salió un, un, un gran conocimiento. O sea, me, ahí fue cuando me inspiré. I the board of my high school, Empecé a crear, to make change, em, a empezar campus. a tomar cambios alrededor del campus. Empecé a convencer a todo el colegio to de que nos dieran un, una parte de. de del dinero to get, um, in every room, que nos dieran que nos dieran dos como dos canecas para que empezáramos a reciclar It was a huge and we to our y tuvimos muchísimo muchísimo éxito para empezar a reciclar y otro so, problema que tuvimos era que estábamos eh, desperdiciando mucha comida So we decided to put the compost bin in our high school and uh, separate the food. Y entonces empezamos a pedir, eh, como empezamos a empezamos a pedir para que eh, no empezaran a desperdiciar tanta comida. Y entonces pidieron como unas canecas para que la gente pudiera empezar a hacer un tipo de reciclaje. And for example, we give the bread to uh, local um, firms for their livestock. Um, lastly, I go to our ultimamente, to strike with Greta and Party for Future, and we got over 150 people to strike with us. Entonces, lo último que hicimos fue que logramos que nuestro colegio pudiera hacer al, eh, un como un tipo de como de paro, igual que como lo que hizo Greta, y los viernes para el tipo del futuro y pudimos que 150 personas eh, eh, hicieran como un tipo de paro. Igualmente que con nosotros. This example, are to show you that we can at any age. Este ejemplo demuestra que demuestra que en cualquier momento y a cualquier edad y en cualquier escala, 
Tú puedes hacer una diferencia. Tener a los jóvenes involucrados en los temas de hoy es muy importante porque somos la nueva generación y somos a los que heredamos esos problemas. Porque somos la nueva generación y nosotros somos los que estamos heredando estos problemas. Personalmente quiero tener un futuro brillante, no oscuro y sombrio. El futuro de nuestro planeta depende de nosotros. Todos en esta sala están en la edad en que necesitamos encontrar un trabajo, pero muchos de nosotros también estamos preocupados por el bienestar de nuestro planeta. Nosotros somos los que nosotros somos los que te, debemos de ponernos en ese trabajo y empezar a avisarle a la gente de esos problemas. Nosotros nosotros tenemos la habilidad de influenciar a todos y empezar a actuar en nuestro propio ritmo, empezando por las cosas pequeñas del día a día. Como Pachi, como Pachi dijo ayer en su video, solo prendiendo la luz podemos hacer, solo apagando la luz podemos hacer una gran diferencia. La historia muestra que incluso las, las minorías pueden cambiar el impacto de la sociedad. La historia aún nos demuestra, y, a, y ahí también eh, nos demuestra que las mujeres en algún momento no las tomaban seriamente, pero ahora podemos ver que hasta hay mucho cambio y las mujeres están demostrando un poder muy grande y cambio en, en este mundo. And now women are leading countries. Ahora ustedes se pueden, dar, se pueden estar dando cuenta el gran cambio de la, del poder de lo que las mujeres están lidiando en este, en este mundo. El movimiento joven de este mundo no se estaba notando, pero ahora miren en este cuarto y miren lo que está sucediendo. Están lidiando y están llevando movimientos totalmente globales. Ya no es una, ya no es una, ya no es una minoría. Ahora es una pregunta y ya no ya tampoco no es una pregunta. Es una pregunta de quién nos va a escuchar y tenemos que forzar que nos escuchen de esta manera. The first came to my mind is the difficulty we have to be heard. Aunque podemos estar liderando esos movimientos globales, aún enfrentamos muchos desafíos. Lo primero que me vino a la mente es la dificultad de no ser escuchados. We are people who go to school, are told to do our homework, our homework, sorry, and we pick the next day and with no question asked. Somos personas que van a la escuela, nos dicen que hagamos la nuestras tareas y que repitamos día a día sin que hagamos preguntas. So no matter how big you become, there will always be someone to tell you that they disagree and that you don't know enough about the topic. La discriminación por edad es otro problema muy importante. Como somos jóvenes, la mayoría de veces ciertos adultos quieren que parezca que no sabemos nada. Pero por ejemplo, Greta estaba por el Parlamento Británico y le dijeron que volviera a la escuela porque era una niña. No importa cuánto grande sea, siempre habrá alguien que no esté de acuerdo contigo y a veces sin razón alguna. 
la gente se reirá de ti en cada paso del camino y es posible que te encuentres en situaciones en las que no recibas apoyo. Algunos de nosotros no recibimos esa ayuda de otros padres, pero bueno, esto puede ser de otro tipo de comportamiento. Because we are children, we lack a certain amount of love, among of power. We want, we don't have political power or an advanced social science degree. We won't have, we won't have the money or the same capabilities as adults. Porque somos, porque somos niños, a lo mejor no tenemos ese tipo de poder o jóvenes, no tenemos ese tipo de poder político o a lo mejor ese tipo de, de título de ciencias. This is not a disadvantage, but raise a challenge we must all face. Esto no debe ser un desafío, pero no tomemos esto como de como derrota. We can either see it as a burden or a gift to prove this other wrong that we know exactly what we're talking about. No, no tomemos esto como una carga, tomemos esto en vez de como un regalo para demostrar a la gente que no estamos equivocados y que sabemos exactamente de lo que estamos hablando. Una cosa que debemos dar eh, cuenta a la gente es que Roma no fue construido solo en un día. And not alone, as youth. We need all the youth, we need adults, all the leaders, and lead like-minded cooperation to get involved. Como jóvenes necesitamos que otros jóvenes y otros adultos eh, sean líderes y corporaciones se afinen y, y se involucren también. We need external help and we are no shame to ask for it. Necesitamos ayuda de exterior y necesitamos gente con corporaciones parecidas para que se involucren con nosotros. Young people are very powerful. Gente joven son muy poderosas, no solo porque tienen un futuro muy poderoso. Nosotros somos ese futuro. Es importante que nos mantengamos positivos porque si no, que eso puede ser difícil para que salgamos de esto. If we want to overcome the challenges, we need si nosotros tenemos que pasar estos desafíos, it is also our to es, es, nuestra, es, nuestra, es nuestro trabajo encontrar esta ayuda. Mi, lo que les pido hoy a ustedes es que se apasionen de estos problemas, que sean fuertes y que no acepten no como una respuesta. You all have each other, and together, Ustedes tienen uno a cada uno y que todos juntos can, podemos hacer we'll y vamos a hacer una diferencia. So get out there. Entonces, por favor, salgan allá, Find your team and encuentren get sus equipos y por favor, pónganse a trabajar. Gracias. Thank you. Hola a todos. Hello, everyone. How are you today? I am Anna Han Hosen, and I come from Mexico City. Recently graduated from Ibero. I come to tell you about what I have done, what I have achieved, and what actions I have taken regarding the environment and climate change, which have managed to put action into my life. I'm going to speak in Spanish because my talk is dedicated to the youth and must and must of the youth because my talk is dedicated to the youth and must be understood by the youth here that speak Spanish. So I will translate my final message, but everything will be in Spanish. On Thursday night, we had a talk with all young people here, Chloe, Camila, and many others about what we were doing. And I realized that here around, there are people who are doing unimaginable things. You never realize that a person from 15 to 16 or 20 years, it is having great achievements. So I said to myself, between 15 and 24 years, we have 1.2 billion people. It is a very high percentage of the population. Imagine what we can have. Imagine what we can achieve. What is very beautiful at this age is we love to get what we have and we are not limited by someone's ideas. We are not limited by someone else's ideas. We are not like adults 
adults who have someone behind them, their company or organization, telling them you cannot get into this controversial topic. You can say it all how you think about it, how it is happening. I don't know if everyone was here at the conferences, but His Excellency Mike Rand said a phrase that really shocked me. We say, listen to the wisdom of our elders, but we must listen to the wisdom of our youth. This put me to think and I realized that many of us can achieve much more than we realize. But also, on the other hand, it does not mean that adults can say, there are young people, it is your generation, you take charge. Ad adults cannot stay back, cross their arms and do nothing. They need to help us. We need them to take us by the hand and lead us to achieve our goal. We need their experience, their learning throughout life to seriously achieve the actions that we want. I feel that something that the older generation can take from us is to take action. Many times, the older generation talks a lot, stays a lot in ideas, and we are the ones who truly say, this is happening. We need to do something about an example that I really like is Maria Jacques, here with us, who heads the student organization at Ibero and managed to gather 500 students. She saw a ravine in Mexico City, one of the few remaining ravines deforested, and together with the students, they planted 1,000 trees in one day. Now they go every month to check on, now they go every month to check how their trees are going. You see, that kind of action, and you say, that's what we need. We need people to seriously think, get up and do something. Do not say in words, because then words make us lose a little hope. How many years have we heard politicians saying, we are going to do this for 2050, and then, and this is one for 20. We are going to do this for 2050, and this one for 2020. But what they are doing right now, what they are measuring right now, and that is another topic that what they are doing right now, and that is another topic that His Excellency Mike Ran was talking about. They have such distant goals that they can disassociate themselves for the responsibility and leave it to the politician who is in charge at that time. And that the truth is not right. We need everyone taking responsibility. It's not something we can leave to someone else. The truth is that the talking with young people in this event has been incredible. I have met people of all ages, from all countries, from all backgrounds. For example, the group of eco-eaters from the USA Lake Idaho who are dedicated to going for the restaurants in their city, convincing people and working with them to stop using single-use plastic. And sometimes what they see is a very large restaurant with many customers and they wonder why they will listen to me. They are succeeding. The Eco Eaters group has already many restaurants that they have stopped using single-use plastic. And although at first they resist, they do their work until they succeed. We have Camila who also spoke. She's 16 years old and her life land. She knows at 26 she will be a senator. What an inspiration to know that we are going to have someone with that desire to do something for the environment and that decision to take it out. We will have this among our politicians. I'm so grateful for this event, for putting us all together to talk. And in this talk on Thursday, Mila asked a question. If you have an event to impact thousand people, what are you going to do? Carter said, I don't know if I could. I said, of course you can. Carter is 19 years old. He has his own foundation and started at nine years old to do things about climate change. He has already, he was already dealing with this when the BP oil spill and he was helping at the well site. So we need to believe in ourselves. We are young people. We are the next generation. And yes, we can. And as I said, we need the help of adults to support us with their experiences. But yes, we can. Finally, I leave you with a message, something I learned in the pop festival in August. A professor from UNAM told us the most important thing in the union between generations is the union between ideas. We need to be a vector because a vector has magnitude 
and direction. We all need to aim at the same goal. We all have to have the plan in mind. We are all here, not for us, not for the event, not for anything other than a cause. We must take it seriously and start acting. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to tell you about the work we are doing in my city, Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico, where we have created a network in collaboration with the pop movement, the Autonomous University of Occidente and FER and FERSAM which is an association that we founded with my friend and colleague here, Fernando Castro. We call our project Smart Barrio, which consists of making interventions in the community, talking to them about the issue of climate change, environmental education, and proposing them small actions on how to separate plastic and organic matter from the rest of the waste. Why plastics and organic matter? According to Semarnath, Ministry of Environment and Natural Resources data, between plastic and organic matter, more than 50% of the waste is generated in the communities. Another action that we develop is planting trees and plants. That support and serve pollinating organisms to help our community mainly dedicated to agriculture and whose activity has been greatly affected. We have been inspired by knowledge, which is the motto, slogan of the pop movement. The motto or slogan of the university is the culture of freedom. And the motto or slogan of for Sam is reflect act and evolve. We have been inspired by the theoretical framework of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals of the IPCC and the FAO in order to develop concrete actions. And one of the concrete actions to achieve the goal of not exceeding 1.5 degrees Celsius in temperature, we believe, is to create a decent work network, create decent sources of climate action in collaboration with governments, large organizations such as the pop movement and educational institutions. It is a pleasure to tell you that we are taking this step with the federal government in the application of the platform Youth Building the Future. POP Movement has been my training center and the Autonomous University of Occidente that gave me access to its facilities in order to achieve this task. Finally, to wish I w finally to finish I want to recite a poem that I wrote inspired by Dr. R.K. Pachori and in his honor for the, for the bet he made for the young people, which makes us to be here today. The poem, Youth Inspired by Knowledge, Look for a real change in the way of looking. Youth inspired by unity. It is time to act for the future to fight. United in the movement to protect our planet. United in the movement to protect our planet. Reflect, act, and evolve.
anything we ever achieved started with someone imagining it first. So if we can't imagine a way out of the climate crisis, it just can't happen. We know that the crisis is getting worse every single day, and many of us are losing hope for our future. But despair is not an option. We must rise up and meet the greatest challenge of our lives with stubborn optimism. And imagining is the first step. So, are you ready to imagine? In this critical decade, the biggest tree planting campaign in history is sucking billions of tons of carbon out of the air. And forest and indigenous lands, they're protected. This is what your city looks like. It's green, I mean everywhere. Streets are pedestrian and kid-friendly. Food growing on rooftops, in car parks, which by the way, we don't need anymore because we don't own cars anymore. And here's something. Birds. Can you imagine your city as a sanctuary for nature and wildlife? There are solar panels on every rooftop across the globe. Clean, interconnected energy lights every home, every clinic, every school. We no longer choke on the toxic fumes of fossil fuels. It's not hard to imagine. This technology already exists. And what about the millions of new jobs created? Are you picturing it? Really picturing it? Roads? They're green too. Traffic's cut right down. Public transport everywhere is electric, dependable, and free. Can you smell the air? Clean. Farming? All regenerative, which means healthy soil and better food. And we don't eat much meat. Can you imagine what we could do with a third of the world's cropland currently used to grow animal feed? Here's something to imagine. Fields of seaweed, miles long, grown in oceans that cross the planet. They draw down billions of tons of carbon, restore sea life, and guess what? They're a limitless source of protein-rich food. And we can do so much more. Rewild our land, protect our cities from rising sea levels, restore coral reefs. These things we're imagining, they're all possible now, just with technology that's available today. We are the last generation that can prevent catastrophic runaway climate change. We cannot give up. Anything we ever achieved started with someone imagining it first. This is the decade to make this imagined future happen. Share this video and help those around you have the courage to imagine it too. It makes me so excited and optimistic to see all your faces here and know that you're all giving your time to think about how you can contribute to the pop movement. Um, I was honored to make a really great announcement uh, two days ago, but I'm going to make it again because I'd like to involve you all in this initiative that I am uh, starting with Dr. Norma and Ash Pachuri. Uh, so my passion is really around protecting our oceans. Again, I'm Marisa Lopez. I'm also Summer's mom. Um, and we love the oceans. We're divers. We're scuba divers. We love to go. It was really great to see the pictures of the kelp forest uh, today. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. Um, and I would like to involve more youth in the effort to protect our oceans and our coastal lands because without them, we are going to be missing out on food sources, opportunities for transportation, recreation and many other things that we all love. So I'm really excited today to announce that we are going to be starting a, a movement within a movement. So we have the fantastic pop movement, which is going to have a, a home here in Durango, um, which is a fantastic. And we are starting, and this is everyone needs to be involved, we're starting a pop ocean movement. So we want to involve everybody here in protecting the ocean. Fantastic, okay. Una pregunta. I have a question, you guys. 
¿Cómo están? How are you? How are you? No les escucha. Okay, tell me if you agree. We need to give our pop stars right up there a very big hand. A big hand. Tenemos Fuerte a nuestras aplauso. estrellas pop un gran aplauso, por favor. El movimiento pop Fuerte reconoce aplauso. a sus miembros como estrellas pop. Es el reconocimiento, ¿ok? Yes. So when the whole idea of the pop movement came up, my dad wanted to be able to recognize exemplary effort by young people and recognize them as pop stars. So big hand to all our pop stars. Un gran reconocimiento que fue una acción que el doctor Pachauri en vida diera a todos los miembros de este equipo, gran equipo pop, como grandes estrellas pop cuando hacen grandes trabajos. Ok, I'm going to tell you a little story. Uh, 50 years ago, in 1970, there was a senator, Gaylord Nelson, that asked a 20-year-old young man, whose name is Dennis Hayes, to start, to start a movement to celebrate Earth Day on April 22. That was 1970. Okay, in 1917, hace 50 años, eh, un gran joven, apoyado por un senador en Estados Unidos, inició un movimiento muy grande que vamos a ver en qué, en qué terminó. All right. 50 years ago, he managed to mobilize tens of thousands of schools and institutions and millions of people across the United States without access to this kind of technology, that was 1970. Since then, 50 years on, Earth Day will celebrate its birthday this year, April 22, bringing together over 1 billion people across more than 190 countries around the world to celebrate Earth and protect our planet. Okay, hace 50 años fue que reunir cientos y miles de instituciones y de personas para poder lograr instituir este gran día que es el Día de la Tierra sin tener la tecnología que hoy todos ustedes tienen. Fue capaz de hacerlo él para poder demostrar que podemos hacer cosas por el planeta y por, obviamente, la Tierra. So we have, within the pop movement, launched something you heard about called Youth Can, where youth can, can stands for climate action now. We invite all of you to celebrate Mother Earth, Tierra Madre, and protect our planet by taking action. Youth can, you can. I want you to think about what you're gonna do, not on April 22 alone. Today, tomorrow, April 22, 2020, and on and on and on and on. That's what I want you to do. Youth can. Ok, dentro del movimiento pop tenemos lo que hoy llamamos el movimiento, el terremoto de la juventud y que es básicamente los jóvenes por la acción climática, de ahí viene el nombre de Youth Can, y le estamos pidiendo a ustedes que piensen hoy, mañana, en el futuro, en el 21, en el 22, qué van a hacer para proteger nuestro planeta, cuál va a ser su acción climática para proteger el planeta, y eso los invitamos a reflexionar. Ok, we're going to spend a few minutes thinking about this. So I want to tell you that Vanessa, if you can just, yeah, Vanessa, Vanessa is back there. She's going to have a table, where? Right there, where she's going to invite you after we finish to come over and write down what you're going to do. Make that commitment and we'll work together. We're going to work together to make it happen. So you can. 
Ok, Vanessa que está aquí atrás de nosotros va a estar en esa mesa y ustedes van a escribir cuál va a ser la acción que van a tener, que van a proponer. Nosotros les vamos a dar seguimiento permanente hasta que ustedes logren completar esa acción que han definido que quieren hacer. Pueden escribir ahí atrás. Ok, I'm going to provide a code here and it starts codes open. The younger generations are the ones that will show the way to the rest of humanity. We are on the verge of a new era of leadership that will be driven by youth, inspired by knowledge. Quotes closed. Dr. Rajendra Kumar Pachauri. Es el pensamiento del Dr. Rajendra Kumar Pachauri, padre de Ash, de Shonali, aquí presentes. Un tributo para él. Siempre pensó hace muchos años que la juventud es la que nos va a mostrar el camino hacia dónde debemos ir para lograr esas acciones climáticas que van a salvar el mundo. Gracias. I'm going to ask Vishnu to put up a link here. Everybody who has a phone and an internet connection, please click on this, get, get on this page, click on the link, register. It's a very simple form. It's going to take you no more than 40 seconds to put in your name, your email address, and a few details. If you don't have access, take a picture and sign up. If you believe here that you can, that youth can, my prayer is please get on board. Let's make this happen. Sign up. I'm going to give you a minute. Please join this family. We are a family. The universe is a family. Welcome to the pop movement. You can. Ok, tienen ustedes un minuto para que en esta liga, los que tengan cómo subir, es muy poca la información que tienen que dar para que se registren, para que todos aquellos que estén convencidos de que la juventud puede, se registren, se unan a la familia pop y sean ustedes muy bienvenidos a esta gran familia universal que se llama Movimiento Pop. Muchas gracias. Los que no tengan acceso ahorita al internet pueden tomar una fotografía y tranquilamente en su casa tomarán 30 minutos, perdón, 30 segundos para poderse registrar, ¿ok? Bienvenidos a todos ustedes, muchas gracias.